comprehensive and balanced data evaluation plan consists of two parts, student outcome data and implementation fidelity data. As a district MTSS team, you'll be assisting school teams in creating a sound data evaluation plan that encompasses both of these parts. Throughout this section, we will focus on key characteristics in a school data evaluation plan for student outcome data. Later, we will talk about the implementation data to be included in a data evaluation plan as well. The first step for school leadership teams is to conduct an assessment inventory. Later in this module, you'll learn about conducting an assessment inventory for your district team as well as for school teams across the content areas of reading, math, and behavior. The assessment inventory will allow your team to identify areas where you don't have the data for adequate problem solving, as well as areas where more than one measure is providing the same information. Next, you will assist school teams in the creation of their assessment calendar. The purpose of this is to ensure that assessment administration is not taking away too greatly from instructional delivery time. Finally, once assessment data has been collected, you'll want to assist school teams in ensuring they have an adequate data management plan to collect and represent all of their universal data across academics, behavior, and social emotional skills. And finally, we have to make sure that we're providing the necessary professional development and coaching for the assessment administration and ensuring that the fidelity of the administration is being adhered to over time. So the final piece of the data evaluation plan for student outcome data is to ensure that our, our assessment data is being collected adequately and accurately over time. 